Okay, so another day of learning class. So good day. So next uh, topic we have is the sanitary drainage system. Okay. So for the sunny sanitary piping layout, you have the general rule in designing the sanitary system since this is uh, pipelines and all the provisions given by the national plumbing code should be of or to follow. Okay. The pipe should take the shortest possible road to the house sewer or the terminating point of the sanitary system. You have that uh, take that into consideration. And then control components such as clean outs, traps, and vents should be located strategically so as to ensure efficient circulation. And then you have the subsystem of the sanitary system, the waste collection system, and the ventilation system. That's the subsystem of the sanitary system. Next is the essential parts of the sanitary drainage system. So first is the waste pipe. So conveys only wastewater or liquid waste free from fecal matter. That is the waste pipe. And then the vent pipe used for ensuring the circulation of air in a plumbing system and for relieving the negative pressure exerted on the trap seal. So you are to provide a vent pipe so that the flow or the circulation of air in your uh, pipelines should be uh, relieved. Okay. Next is a trap, a fitting or device designed and constructed to provide, when properly vented, a liquid seal which mean, which prevents the backflow of foul air or methane gas without materially affecting the flow of sewage or wastewater through it. And then you have the stack that is the vertical main of the so a system of soil, waste or vent pipings extending through one or more stories and ex extending through the roof. So that is a vertical pipe extending from the ground up to the last story of your building. And then the branch that is any part of the piping system other than the main riser or stack. So when you have the vertical pipe and then you have this uh, connecting pipe here that is called the branch. Okay. Next, you have the house or building drain that is the lowest part or lowest horizontal piping of the plumbing system which receives the discharge from the soil, waste, or other drainage pipes inside the building and conveys it to the sewer outside the building. And then you have a house a building or house or building sewer. It extends from the house drain, so connecting to a house drain or connecting to a building drain at a point of 0.6 meters from the outside face of the foundation wall of the building to the junction with the street sewer or to any point of discharge and conveying the drainage uh, of one building site. So that's the connection. You have the stack or the main pipe, then connect it to the house or building drain, and then the building drain connect to the house or building sewer, and then that sewer connect to the street sewer or the public drainage. Then you have the principles of waste and soil, that is the excreta drainage, pipes roughing installation, or roughing means. The changes in direction of sanitary drainage lines, so horizontal to horizontal change in direction, so you use, or it should, you should have used the 45 degree wide branches, combination of Y18 bend branch or other approved fittings of equivalent sweep. So normally in our construction, we will use or we use the 45 degree elbow and the 45 Y branch pipes or fittings. 
And then also you have vertical to horizontal change in direction. You have 45 Y branches or other appropriate things on the equivalent sweep. So normally you have elbow 45, 45 degree elbow and the 45 degree Y. Next is horizontal to vertical direction. So use 45 or 60 degrees Y branch combination with Y18 one eight bend branches sanitary T or sanitary top T branches or other uh, approved fitting of equivalent sweep. Okay. And then no fitting having more than one inlet at the same level shall be used. Okay. Example, sanitary cross. Okay. You already know the form of that uh, particular fittings. Double sanitary T's may be used when the barrel of the fitting is at least of two pipes. Sizes larger than the largest, uh, largest inlet. Okay, you have the unit of measurement of sizes of sanitary drainage lines. So the size of waste pipe or soil pipes depend on the amount of waste carry. You have the number of occupants so the number of uh, toilet and bathroom. So you need to consider that in your design of waste pipes. A lavatory discharges 0.47 liters per second, or that is 28.3 liters per minute, which is equivalent to one fixture unit. So if you have uh, many fixture uh, a lavatory, you just multiply that, and then uh, you have the corresponding a number of liters per minute or per second, you, are, uh, you have to compute for the size of your waste pipe. And then the fixture unit rating of the plumbing fixture is based on the size of the required trap. Uh, so normally in our lavatory, we'll use the uh, P trap that is two inch in diameter. Maximum trap loading. So these are the uh, item number, the pipe size, and the uh, fixed a number of fixture unit. So if you use 32, so that is uh, 32 mm, that is one and one half, one and one half uh, diameter of the pipe. So you just have the one fixture unit, but normally we'll, normally we'll use the two inches uh, diameter. Okay. So you just go through with this. Uh, Maximum trap loading. Exemption on self-service laundry. Okay, so discharge capacity. So take note, uh, capacity over 3.15 liters per second shall be determined by the administrative authority. So uh, the sanitary engineers or the uh, administrative authority assigned to that particular project should check or determine the capacity of that particular uh, discharge capacity. No? For a uh, con continuous flow into a drainage system such as from sump pump or ejector, air conditioning equipment, or uh, similar devices, two fixture units shall be allowed for every 0 0.063 uh, liters per second of flow. And one, one gallons per minute is equivalent to 0 0.063 liters per second. You have here the item number. You just go through with that particular fixture unit, number of part of number of fixture unit, then the corresponding letters or uh, GPM. You have the minimum slope of sanitary drainage line. So minimum slope or pitch of the horizontal drainage line is 2% or that is 20 mm per meter or one fourth inch per foot. So you have the slant or the slope that is 2%. So if you have a length of 10 meters, so I think you have one meter slope for 100 millimeter, no, one cm, 10 cm, I think. That is 2%. So for 10 meters, so that is 200 mm slope. So that is Horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is 
10 meters vertical is uh, 0.2 meters. Okay, so that is the minimum slope. And then you have the exemption. So where it is impracticable, impracticable due to depth of straight sewer, adverse structural uh, features and irregular building plants, pipes 102, so that is 4 inches. For larger, we have a slope of not less than 1%. So you have the exemption. You can use 1% if your building is below the street sewer. Then you have the traps and interceptors. So you have types of perm permissible traps. First is the common pea trap. So this is used in lavatories, kitchen sink, laundry tubs, and urinals. Material commonly used for this pea trap is nickel, chrome, plated brass, galvanized, uh, mar malleable copper, and PVC. Uh, so for the most common, that is PVC. Next is the deep seal pea trap. So water seal is about twice the size of the common pea trap. So used for extreme condition because the sealing quality is greater. So you have the seal, the trap seal here no? to trap all the foul odor coming from your maybe from, from the canals or from your grease trap. Okay. Next, you have the stand trap to use for fixtures such, uh, such as slope sinks that are usually built uh, low in the ground, uh, leaving very little space for a foundation or and a trap. Serves as water seal and structural support for the fixtures. You have the slope sink here, then you have the pit trap, then maybe for the flooring, you have here the flooring. Next is the running trap. So use within the line of the house drain. So this is the running trap, this one. Next, you have the drum trap. As large uh, diameter, so that is around 0. Uh, 0.16 meters, or that is six inches, okay? about six inches. Then used for fixtures that discharge large amount of water, like bathtub, shower, floor drain. Maybe uh, some they use this in swimming pools, but a uh, larger diameter. Types of prohibited traps, so traps with movable parts or concealed interior partition. No fixture shall be double trap. So there should be, so if you install the uh, water closet that has already have a pit trap built in with the uh, water closet, so no need to put another pit trap in connection from the water closet to your pipe. So you should have at least the 90 degree elbow for the fitting connection to the uh, water closet and the pipe. Okay, so you can, for prohibited traps is also a uh, S-trap that is prohibited. <clears throat> and then predecessor of <clears throat> a trap then used before traps had to connect to a ventilation line. So no trap in connection to the to your vent system. Okay, so pull is trap, so you can use that one. So that is prohibited based on the national plumbing code. For the requirements, so traps, each plumbing fixture except those with integral traps shall be separately trapped with an approved type of water seal trap. So requirement to the CIA in every fixture. Only one trap shall be permitted on a trap arm. Portion of the fixture drain between a trap and the vent. So this is the trap arm. Connection, you have uh, this vent is going to the waste line. Then you have the sanitary T and then the trap arm before the P trap. Also one trap centrally located may be served three a single compartment sink. So for example, you have uh, two compartment sink. So you have a sanitary tea. This one is a cross, uh, cross tea. And then going to the pit trap and then the waste line. Okay. 
So the size of traps, so that shall be the same as the trap arm to which it is connected. Okay. Then each uh, fixture trap shall have a trap seal of water of not less than 51 millimeter. So that is two inch or not more than four inch or 102 millimeter, except where a deeper seal is found necessary by the administrative authority or by the designer, that is the registered master plumber for special condition. You have the minimum sizes of traps for common plumbing fixture. So if you have the common traps, but for the uh, lavatories and kitchen sink, normally we'll use the two inch uh, diameter. Since uh, that is normally used during construction, even if you just use, but this is the minimum, no? minimum trap diameter or trap arm size. Okay, and then the number of fixture units. We we'll just go through with this uh, slide. Next is the installation of uh, traps. So the vertical distance between a fixture outlet, pail piece, and the trap weir shall not exceed 0.6 meters in length. So the horizontal distance of trap arm, so you have this one. Uh, this is the minimum. So for the trap arm diameter 32, you have the distance to the vent of 0.7 meters. Okay. So for that discussion, you have here the distance. Okay, for this one, you have the distance from the vent. So for example, that is 38 millimeter. So at the distance of for your trap arm, that is 38 millimeter. So you have a distance of your vent up to 0 0.7, 76 meters. Okay, this one distance. So take note, in no case shall the trap distance be less than twice the diameter of the trap arm. Okay. So the developed length of the trap arm measured from the top of the closet ring to enter the edge of vent of a water closet or a similar fixture shall not exceed 1.8 meters. And also for trap arm 76, millimeter diameter or larger, that is three inch in diameter, a clean out is required for a change of direction of greater than 22 and one half degree inch. You have a change of direction, so you will use the Y and the, the Y and the 45 degree elbow. And also a clean out since the Y has a three opening. So you have the one opening for the uh, connection pipe and then the other opening is the second opening is for the trap arm the third opening is for the clean out okay. so industrial interceptor or clarifiers and separators the interceptor is a device designed and installed to separate and retain the deleterious hazardous or undesirable matters from normal waste and permits normal sewage or liquid Ways to discharge into the disposal terminal by gravity it shall have a water seal of not less than uh, six inch, or that is 152 millimeter deep. You have the uh, interceptor, and then each interceptor shall be uh, properly vented. Slaughterhouse, uh, packing establishment, and any establishment which which discharges wastewater with considerable amount of grease, hair, feather, etc., shall drain through a screening device and thence into a grease interceptor. So sometimes grease interceptor or interceptor in a residential building or even in commercial building, we will call that as grease trap, okay, grease trap. So a grease trap is more likely the same as the uh, catch basin. You have also auto wash racks and for floor or slab used for 
cleaning machinery or machine parts shall be adequately protected against storm or surface water and shall drain into an interceptor which will separate oil and grease before the effluent uh, reaches the public uh, stream. Okay, so you need also a interceptor or a grease trap for the auto wash racks. Next, you have the clean out. So for the requirement of clean out at the upper terminal of every horizontal sewer and waste line. So since for clean out, this is used for cleaning or you can remove the clean out and then clean the uh, drainage line or waste line. Then at each run, the piping more than 15 meters or 50 feet in total developed land. So you have to install a clean out in every 15 meter length. <clears throat> and then and at every 15 meter of total developed length or a fraction thereof. So it depends on the uh, designer if they have to put a uh, clean out in every six meter length. Okay. Additional clean out shall be provided on a horizontal line with an aggregate offset angle of one or exceeding uh, 135 degrees. So required na since you have to put the 45 degree angle Y. And then inside a building near connection between the building drain and the building sewer or installed uh, outside the building at the lower end of the building drain and it's extended to grade. Since you have the change of direction, in every change of direction, uh, I think a uh, clean out should be provided. Clean out is not required if for in a horizontal drain less than 1.5 meter in length, unless such line is serving sink or urinal. So you can have clean out is not required for that. And then on short horizontal drainage piping installed at a slope of 72 degrees or less from the vertical line. So the size of clean out, so it depends on the size of the pipe served. For clean out sizes, you have this. So normally, uh, in construction site, we only use a uh, four inch diameter clean out, this one. So since we will use the four inch diameter pipe, so we will use the clean out of 89 millimeter. So you have this uh, installation of clean out, so just go through with this. Next, we have the house drain up appliances. You have the grease trap for establishment like restaurants, cafes, uh, lunch counters, cafeteria bars, and hotel clubs, hotels, hospitals, sanitarium, factory or school kitchen, a grease trap is not required for individual dwelling unit. But in uh, our design, we should have a grease trap if you have a kitchen sink. Okay. So no grease trap shall be installed for a facility that has an approved rate of flow more than 3.0 liters per second since ma wash out from ang grease. And then each grease trap shall have an approved water seal not less than 51 millimeter in depth or the diameter of its outlet, whichever is higher. And then no food waste disposal unit shall discharge into a waste or into a grease interceptor or a grease trap. And then you have the two types of grease trap, the earth cold grease trap and the mechanical grease trap. So the earth cold grease trap usually used in residential building and the mechanical grease trap is used for commercial building, especially in restaurant. Then you have the, the trap. Maybe I will uh, uh, give you the design of mechanical grease trap so that you can also have the maybe a CAD file for this so that you can have or you can change if ever the required GPM of that particular uh, restaurant or that particular uh, project of yours, maybe soon or maybe in the future is uh, 
not the same as my design. Okay. Operating principles. So you have this uh, art called grist trap. So this one. So normally, this is used in residential building since you will construct it outside the building. For mechanical grist trap, you will just have to put that under the sink. This one is the mechanical grist trap. Grist trap capacity, so you have this one. So just go through this uh, slide. The next is house trap. This is placed in the house drain immediately inside the foundation wall of the building. You have the wall, this one, and then you have the uh, flooring. So this one going to the house drain. This one coming from your uh, waste, from your water closet and lavatories. And then you have your clean house. So this is the house trap. Then drain tiles used to prevent groundwater from seeping through the base basement wall and foundation. You have the drain, drain I think uh, floor drain. Then hollow tiles are, pla are placed around the perimeter of the foundation where water is collected. Drain tiles are connected to the house drain or a sump pit. Next is garage trap, aka garage catch basin. The operating principle is to trap is filled with water and located at the lowest point of the garage so it can be collect it can collect all wastes you have so more or less this is uh, called a grease trap but it is uh, located in the garage so garage catch basin ano catch basin not grease trap catch basin the next you have the backflow valve so this one is the backflow this one so more likely the same as the check valve, since when the water goes through here, so it can never come back. You have the gate here. So once the water passes through the gate, so it goes down and then it can never come back to the main. To so use in house uh, house drain to prevent unlikely occurrence of backflow. Similar to check valve. Next is sewage uh, ejector. You have pumps the waste up from the sump to sump pit to the sewer, which are usually higher than the basement level. You have the sump pump, this one. This is the sump pit. Okay, so that's all for this uh, lesson. Thank you for listening and viewing the discussion. See you to our next discussion video.